All right, guys. So Tinder data, Tinder data shows women's standards are just impossible. And here's the thing. We know this. We know this. But now there's more data. There's a, a thing called, uh, uh, I think they call it Tinder Insights. Let me, let me look at this again here. It's called, uh, yeah, TinderInsights.com. And what it does is I guess you can put in your Tinder info and it will look into your data on Tinder and tell you you're swiping and based on your texts and, and everything like that, um, like your history. Now, a lot of people are putting this on r slash uh, uh, Tinder on Reddit. That's how I originally found this. And a lot of them are commenting like, yeah, this is accurate or yep, this is pretty much. So there is some validity. It's not necessarily 100%, but this basically is you can put your login and, and get your data out. Now, here's an example that they use. And I find this was funny. Right on tinderinsights.com, it says, um, this is a 27 year old male who's been on Tinder for 177 days. So almost half a year, six months. He says, you swiped 18,000 times. I'm, I'm ballparking these numbers. I'm not gonna read out every single digit. You swiped right 6,700, you got 271 matches. So out of 67 uh, swipes that he swiped right on, which means he likes them, he got 271 matches. That's, that's not great. Um, and again, this is on their own website, but I've got some real, some other data ones that people have put forward. Uh, chats, he had 231 chats with him. He went on seven dates out of those 231 ch chats. He ended up getting one relationship and hooked up twice. So basically he, he did get a short-termish relationship and he casually hooked up twice. That's out of 6,700 swipes. Well, no, I, I take that back, right swipes. So out of 6,700, 54 swipes, he, he got lucky twice and got in a relationship once. Well, depending on who he got lucky with, he, he might've gotten very unlucky. What an absolute waste of time, but this is on their own website. Well, let's look at some actual, some actual uh, statistics here. And I, I enjoy these because these are from, uh, this first one's from a woman. She's 27 years old and she's been on Tinder six years and 52 days. So she's been on Tinder since she was 21 years old. But listen to these numbers. I have my calculator here. Uh, she says that um, you swiped, uh, they say you swiped 93,000 times. You swiped right, selecting yes, 5,900 times. Now, let me bring up my little handy dandy calculator app here. So uh, let's see, out of 5950 divided by 93,294, that's 0 .063, 0 .063 right swipes uh, or percentage wise. So what would that be if that's a percentage? 0 .06 would actually be what? Is that, is that right? 6% of the time? Yeah, 6% of the time. So she's only looking for the top 6% of men. Now out of those, she got 2000 matches, 4,000 no matches. So that means of the, of the uh, 6% that she selected, maybe roughly a third of them selected her back. She had 978 chats. We'll round that to a thousand. So a thousand chats, a thousand no chats. So even the people that she selected and they selected her, she didn't talk to half of those. Of the 978 chats, 931 she never met. She actually went on 47 dates. Now, in six years, she went on roughly 50 dates. That's about, what, nine dates a year? Is that right? Around nine dates a year, which is only a date every month and a half or a month and a third. She had five relationships in that time period and she had casual sex 32 times. 32 times. Number of marriages, zero. Uh, let's see. How about uh, this one? 
So in seven in six years, she hooked up with 32 people and five relationships that roughly averages to like a boyfriend a year plus hooking up 32 times. Was that when she had the boyfriends? Was it surrounded by those boyfriends? Well, it tells you that in, in, in six years, if she had five relationships, she's either cheating on the guy or they're really short-term relationships or she's just going out and getting a lot. I mean, that is a lot of, that is a lot of, that's a high body count for six years. And, and if she'd been single six years, that's bad enough. But she had five relationships in that period. Can you really call them relationships at this point? This are, these are the people on the market. This is a 27 year old woman. This is who's on the market. And I have to assume either, either something went wrong with the guy, which means she, she partnered with a bad guy or she broke up with him when she got bored with him. Or uh, maybe she's just not a good person to date because five relationships in six years and 32 hookups, not, no bueno. Here's another one, 30 year old female. Now she's been on Tinder for one year, 131 days. So a year and three months. Listen to these numbers. She's been on there just a little bit over a year. You swiped 240,628 times. This girl in a year and 131 days has swiped on a quarter of a million profiles. Number of right swipes, 5235. Let's divide that 5235 by 240, 628. Point zero 0.02. So she's looking for the top two percenters. That's all she selected, right swiped on, two percenters. Now, when men say 80-20 rule, 90-10 rule, 95-5 rule, gentlemen, 98-2 rule for her. And, and her age, 30 years old. <laughs> if you don't think that that they they're if you don't think that they're being unreasonable i don't know what to tell you um so out of that 5235 right swipes she got 3000 matches now you got to understand a lot of guys will sit there and just go right 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 on everybody just hoping to get a conversation because i've seen videos of guys doing that so it doesn't even necessarily mean that they liked her back they might have just been rifling through out of those uh, 5200 3,000 were matches. So, so she matched with 3,008 out of her 240,628. I'm pausing here because I'm doing division. She matched with 0 0.0125. She matched with 1.25% of everybody she swiped on. That's how selective. Out of that, 1,281 people she talked to, 1,727, no chat at all. Out of the 1,281 she talked with, 1,249 she never met. And she went on 32 dates, 32 dates in a year. That's like one every other week. She had casual sex 20 times in this one year. And, and 131 days. So that's like a, a year and uh, what, uh, three months in, the, in this in this 15 month period, 15 month period, she had casual sex 20 times. That's averaging more than a new guy a month. And she says she had two relationships. Marriage, zero. This is a 30 year old. And, you, and this is why women do not want to settle down when they're young, because they get so much attention from men and, and it's all fun and it's interesting and it's exciting. I, I'm going out and, and she got to, out of a quarter of a million swipes, she ended up going on 32 dates. Now I got to do the math on that. So she, she went on 32 dates out of 240,000. 628.000132. 000 
So she went out on a date with 0.013% of the people that were offered to her. 0.013% she went on a date with. And she hooked up 20 times, 20 times. This is, but this is why women do not give you a chance, average American, average French, average Brazilian, average Filipino, average whoever, average gentleman. This is why you, you don't get a chance because, because men are so thirsty right now that they're just throwing themselves at any woman. And the thing is, guys are not looking for a relationship necessarily. They're trying to get laid. And so they're like, I'll sleep with her. And the woman's like, I get to choose from the best of the best of the best to sleep with me. And it's not for a relationship because she had two relationships in a year and still ended up hooking up 20 times. So maybe the relationship she had was with a guy that stuck around for a month or two and kept wanting to sleep with her. Of, of course you don't have a chance on these dating apps. And that's okay. But the point is, don't waste your time on them, number one. And number two, when women get this much sausage and veg, meat and veg, as my brethren in the UK like to say, when they get this much thrown at them, they can be incredibly picky. What they don't realize, though, is that none of them want a relationship, a true long-lasting relationship with these women. And she, this 30-year-old and these others will continue to do this until it falls off a cliff. And then they're like, oh, well, I'm not getting laid anymore. I'm not having fun anymore. Guys aren't asking me out on a date anymore. I guess it's time I settle down. I guess it's time I settle down now. And the guys are like, no, we don't want to settle down with you. Why? Because of 20 partners in a year or 32 partners in a couple of years. Here's another, now, this one, um, same thing. She's been on there four years, 355 days. So we'll call it five years. So she's been on Tinder five years. She's 20 years old, okay? So basically, whenever she hit college, she swiped 61,356 times. Her right swipes, the number of guys she wanted to match with, is uh, 551. So 551 divided by 61, 3, 5, 6. She swiped right. On, is this right? 0.89%. She is looking for the top one percenter. She swiped, swiped right 551 times. And of that top one percent she wanted, 297 matched with her. Because those one percenter guys are like, sure, I'll, I'll sleep with you. Like, you're good enough. I'll go out with you. And maybe she's really hot. So she can be really selective. So she only selected five, 500 guys. Those 500 guys, 300, I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd hit it and quit it. She chatted with 135 of them, 162 she didn't even talk with. She went on 10 dates. So out of 61,000, she went on 10 dates. Out of 551, she said yes to 551, she went on 10 dates. She had five relationships and she had casual sex once. So that's, I'll give her this. I mean, at least according to the statistics, she didn't sleep around. I'll give her that much. But she had five relationships in five years. A dude a year. And she couldn't, even after being this picky, she didn't stick with any of them or none of them stuck with her. A boyfriend a year. And, and now she's 25. And will the same continue? Yeah, more than likely. Now let's look at uh, let's look at a guy's comparison. Now this is uh, I thought this was funny. Now, now let me be let me be fair. I didn't cherry pick these. I didn't cherry pick these. These were almost as I scrolled down through this. These were almost back to back to back. I didn't have to look long for these. This is a 31 year old male. He now he was um, he's been on Tinder for three years, 226 days. He's been on a little bit over a year and a half, or excuse me, three and a half years. He swiped right 2,660, 200, uh, 2,660 times, or not swiped right. I'm, I'm goofing that up. He just swiped 2,660 times. So in three years, 
He swiped 2,000 times. These women have one woman a quarter of a million swipes, another one 60,000, another one a couple hundred thousand. Like the women spend much, much, much tw more time looking for other guys while they're weeding through all this. Men, a lot of times know if they find a good one, they're done looking. They're happy they have found a good one. Where a lot of the times the women are like, well, I, he's good, but maybe I could find better. And they jump back out there. Of the 2660 times he swiped, uh, he swiped right 2,094. He only swiped left 500 times. That's literally him swiping like 80% of the time saying yes. Not a picky man. Not a picky man. 45 matches he got out of his 2,000 swipes. He had six chats. Zero dates, zero casual hookups, zero relationships, zero matches, zero spark. Whole lot of goose eggs down here. So, he, he, and see what he's learned is that, all right, I've been on this for three some odd years. I guess when I'm bored, I'll jump on. I'll do a little bit of right swiping. I won't be picky. 80% of them I'll like. I'll give it a chance. Maybe I'll, I'll just, I'll go on a date or 45 matches out of 2,000. He had six chats. Never met any of the six of them. I don't even want to pull the percentages up on that because it'll just depress me. But you can see that women being super picky and, and you know, these the dating guys out there will tell you, yes, but if you improve your looks, um, if you follow these guidelines on making a good social media profile, if you, if you are charismatic and you show that you're an alpha dude, you'll get a lot more matches and you'll go on more dates and you'll end up hooking up more than this guy did. And my question always is, okay, great. So are the women that I've already talked about in this video, are the women on the dating profiles that I did just in the other video, do you really, do you really want to go on a date with any of them? Do you, do you really want to get out there and put yourself out there for that? And some of you guys are like, yeah, man, I'd like to, at least to have something easy to hit it and quit it. Okay. There are other, there are other medias, mediums you can use that will give you a lot more, a lot more, a better odds and more action than this. Because because here's the thing, if you swiped for a few hours uh, or even five or 10 hours, like the, I don't know how long it took him to swipe, but in three and a half years, he swiped 2,200 times or whatever it was. If in instead of t spending that time on this app, if he had gone out to a, a bookstore and tried to meet or a coffee shop and tried to meet someone in, perfect, uh, in person, but in the same time, actually bought a new book to read or to embed, to better yourself or to improve yourself or a, an auto mechanics book, whatever, and spent the time reading that while saying hi to a couple people in a coffee shop. Number one, his odds of meeting somebody would be no worse than being out in the real world. And number two, he would have picked up another talent. He would have picked up something that is actually meaningful, that is actually valuable to your life. These women are not valuable to your life. Look how selective and choosy they are. And then look what they bring forward. I mean, look at the dating apps I did just in a, a previous video. You know, I did like seven or eight of them. Do you really want to jump through a bunch of hoops for that? This is a 24-year-old male. He's been on here five years and uh, 180 days. So he's been on there five and a half years. He swiped 35,000 times. Again, still way lower than the ladies. I mean, the other gal that was on here like five or six years, she swiped almost 100,000 times. This guy swiped 35,000 times. So it's still a lot of swipes, but he still swiped a third less than she did. He swiped right 26,000 times out of the 35,000 times. He swiped right two thirds of the time versus the 0, 0.00 percentages of the women. He's saying, hey, you know what? Two thirds of women, I'd go out on a date with them. I'd see what they're about. Matches 81 out of 26,000 attempts and 35,000 swipes, he matched with 81. How many, what is the percentage on, on that with the women saying no to him? 26... <laughs> 
he got matched point zero point zero is that right i'm sorry he matched <coughs> he matched point three percent of his swipes if i'm reading that right or is that point zero three like less than one percent of the of the times he matched he had 59 chats he, he talked with 59 of the women zero dates zero relationships zero hookup zero marriage 59 of the 59 chats never met and and look even statistically if you say the guy might be awkward he might be a little weird he might be look my father you know when he was a younger guy he's had dad you know the dad jokes and the dad humor my mom said he was like that the first date they, that he went on. He had thick rim glasses. He literally wore a pocket protector that he slipped in his a white shirt because he was a he was a mechanical engineer and he had ink pens and pencils stuck into it. Now, the only thing he was missing was the tape in the center of his glasses, but he had the 1960s horn rim glasses and my dad was a nerd. And bad jokes. I mean, he's had bad jokes all his life. It's one of the reasons why dad jokes are funny. And, and I, I love my father very much, but he was a nerd. And my mom, she was, she was a pretty woman, but she said he was awkward and he was funny and he was sweet. And he, he went through, you know, some effort to, to ask me out on a date and I could tell he was shy and, you know, it was sweet. Even if you're a little awkward, but these guys, guys are getting zero shots because women can be so picky and they're getting laid. Now, no one wants to wife them. No one wants to date them. No one wants to stay with them. But, you know, that's that's the way that's the way this goes now. Now, again, for the for the for the guys out there that say you you dudes are just a bunch of chud losers, man. All you have to do, dude, bro, is hit the gym and, uh, you know, take care of yourself and dress nice and maybe wear nice clothing and, and present yourself better and hit the gym and learn some social skills, learn how to be funny and how to be interesting. And you, you can do that. And, and I, I guarantee you guys, if you do put effort into it, you can have success at this. I know because I am a five foot, seven, six ish, seven ish bald guy. I've been on lots of dates, been on lots of dates, had lots of fun with lots of women over the years. I'm not like a hulking roided out dude. I keep myself in decent shape. The one thing I have is I, I can talk. I can talk a fair amount of game and I'm, I'm usually can make them laugh and they have fun. And so it can be done. But again, f for what you're, for the amount of work and the amount of effort you have to put into this to have success, all I ask you is, is it worth it? And to some of you, it may be, but to a lot more men today, they say, you know what? I'm not going to jump through a lot of hoops for the quality of woman that I'm able to get today. It's not worth it to me. So guys, keep that in mind out there. You can see the numbers here. The numbers are not good. Uh, they are not good. They're ridiculous. And, uh, you know, it, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you really do want to meet with somebody, go through some improvement things, uh, but meet them in the real world, meet them in person. Uh, meet them doing a hobby you love. Uh, meet them at a coffee shop. Uh, and don't be socially awkward. Don't be shy. And and talk to people just in general. Just going up and to strangers saying, hey, how's it going? And yeah, I like your, your boots or hey, interesting watch or hey, where'd you? Just shooting the, as, as we say, it, shooting the breeze out there. I almost said shooting the S. You know, shoot the breeze with people. Get comfortable talking to people. Get comfortable to people making fun of you. Get pe get comfortable with people calling you names or weirdo or whatever. Like, don't care. It doesn't matter. They don't know you and they'll never see you again. When you get into that mind frame, you'll have much more success. But again, look look at what look at what quality you have. Oof, I'm telling you.